As an example here, we have a situation where the red and blue pipes are colliding with a rectangular duct that has been resized. Smart Move allows the user to choose a horizontal pipe segment and a new reference point from the upper surface of the duct in order to edit the crossing. Choose the reference point and the feature suggests the shortest route over the rectangular duct. If you wish to elevate the object even more, you can type in a value in the tolerance field. Clicking on the blue arrow icon updates the model. We can take alignment points from existing objects when changing the elevation. Here we have a sprinkler pipe next to the red one and dashed lines indicating its highest and lowest offset points. We want to align the two pipes regarding the two points, first with the top to top method. Choosing the sprinkler pipe aligns the two pipes to the same top elevation. Bottom to bottom does the same using bottom elevation points, making sure that the object's lower edges are in the same elevation. In dataset settings, you can now choose among the new symbols available for provisions. The selection is made based on the shape of provisions, their location, and the direction provisions are viewed from. Let's select symbols for round and rectangular provisions that are visible in plan view. In the project, when we install provisions, we can see that the selected symbols appear in the plan view. We have different options when we want to either move or copy a branch. Start the command, select the branch, click on finish and a dialog opens up. Check the box for accurate positioning in order to determine an exact position for the branch, for example by typing in a distance from a certain point. Other options are angled and mirrored branches and placing branches freely. Type in an angle, having the accurate position box checked and attach the branch to a main duct. You can choose not to copy branches by unchecking the copy box and in this way only reposition them. Mirror the branch and place it. The wire command opens a dialog with different routing options. First off, free drawing. For this purpose you can use the snapping function in the dialog called show height dimensions. Snapping options you will find under options. It allows you to snap distance or angle. We can also inherit wire properties from existing wires in the project. Installation point is a good option when you want your wires connected to fixture installation points. With automatic circuit wiring, you can let the feature to suggest routing for the whole circuit. Toggle with space between alternative routes.
Up in the menu bar, we have added a new edit category for the move and stretch command. With move and stretch command, we can grab to line segments and move them horizontally or vertically within certain range. In this case that we can see on the screen, the lower limit is the supplier terminal symbol tagged SAD08100, and the upper limit is the endpoint of the vertical main. We can also select a symbol and move that along the line segment to which the symbol is connected. Note how the tag follows the symbol while it is being moved. In addition to move and stretch, the new MagicAt version introduces a new tool for a better handling of situations where the symbol is linked to a device in the model. If either the schematic symbol or the device in the 3D model is removed with the new functionality, you will always make sure that the linked object will be removed as well. When you want to remove a linked object, use the Remove Object feature. The software asks for a confirmation when a linked object is being removed.